Hello everyone, and welcome back to my tutorial of how to get started in Technic or TechIt. As you can see, I've done a little bit of design around the tower. Uh, it's still only one floor. I've replaced all of the um, industrial craft machines that I had before. Got my battery box here, just charged up a bit. I've got some signs placed out. I'm going to be doing some more upgrades, mostly related to uh, power generation for industrial craft and uh, some upgrades to the Red Power 2 stuff that I've done. I'm also going to be rebuilding the Nether Portal. Between the last episode and this one, I made one more trip back. I got all my mod items again, as well as I broke the old, Ender por um, the old Nether Portal, because I really didn't want that to be conflicting with anything that I built at this point. So, without further ado, let's get started. I think we're going to get started with the Nether Portal first. Okay, I've got a little bit of netherrack, and I'm going to need 14 pieces of obsidian. Um, oh, so what is the recipe for that? This is a new block, not one I've used before, but I've um, tested it before. Oh, I've got to build a deployer to make this, so i got to build a piston and a chest. Okay, this should be an easy build, actually. Grab one of those. Two of those, we're gonna need some wood. And a whole bunch of cobble, right? I'm actually low on cobble. Uh, what do I break down for some cobble? Hmm. This should be worth quite a bit. Oh, uh, that was more cobble than I expected. Okay, we'll just leave the rest in there. That was just one piece of lapis. Okay. Um, so we're going to... Oh, no, we're going to need more wood. Gonna need a chest for the next piece. And another piston. Oh, man, I can't wait until I'm done with this uh, tutorial so I can start playing on my single-player world. I've been trying really good, hard to um not do anything that's not mod-related. I mean, uh, that's, like, not related to Tekken mods and their functionality. But, I mean, I'm, I want to get into logistics, and I want to get into uh, gates with build craft. Oh, I'm looking forward to that. I miss that stuff. So, wait, I already got the piston, so then i got to make it into a deployer. Oh, easy day. So now I got the deployer. I need the two nether rack, the deployer, some... I need another flint and steel. Okay, I know I got plenty of flint somewhere. Here. There we go. So if you take the flint and steel, but with the deployer, do I need another piece of redstone? I did. Yeah, da, 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 da. Okay, we've got an igniter. Oh, we're gonna need a lever. I know I got a whole bunch of levers in the tool chest, right? Yeah, I do. And, uh... Hmm. Didn't I have some... I don't know. I guess I didn't have any wire. Okay. We'll take three of these ingots. If you combine them in a straight line like that, you get uh, red alloy wire. And if you get make too much of this by accident for some reason, you can put them into an old-fashioned alloy furnace. And it will cook them back down into their ingots. Oh, also, um, while we're out here, I set up the robots again. They're, uh, oh, they're all dumb. Huh. Let's see what they built, what they dropped off for me. I'm gonna have to refuel those guys and send them out again. Ooh, got some crystals, got enough for another diamond. Already down to the gold level. Yeah, I've been making them go down in smaller tunnels. And it seems to be working. But anyway, let's get back down to this project. So, we're going to build a nether portal, like normal. Ow, my legs. And then we're going to place an igniter right there. And I want this lever to be kind of at eye level, so we'll put it up here. And that's why we made this wire. This wire works like regular redstone, except that you can um, you can place it on walls and stuff. And see, that lever is on the opposite side from the redstone, so when I give this a signal, redstone lights up, the igniter ignites, and the nether portal turns on. And if this is working the way it's supposed to, if I flip this lever the other way, nether portal goes off. Nice. 
So, hmm. I like it better smooth stone, even if that is sticking out there. And I can get some. I'm gonna make some covers right now, and I'm gonna cover that up so it looks pretty. Oh, let's get down to work. Okay, that. And we're gonna need a piece of smooth stone. I don't know if I've shown this on camera. Um, if you just keep cutting it up, you'll eventually get to a uh, stone covers. And the way wire works. There we go. Nice and neat. I could even, if I wanted to, cover up this whole back with one more layer so that it's completely even, but I'm not that picky. So yeah, now we've got our uh, nether portal. And it's got an on-off switch, which is, you know, neato torpedo. So I can break this sign here. Hmm. What other projects? Oh, right. Let's get started on that um, upgrade to the electricity. Uh, do we have three of nether? Yes, we good, we good. Plenty of nickel. let's stuff all these building blocks. We're not going to need them again. We're going to need a little bit of wood and a little bit of cobble. Hmm. We're going to need a battery box first, but this is going to have to be an, um, a red power battery box, not an industrial craft battery box. Also, we're going to need four of these batteries. We're going to need a blue alloy ingot, and we're going to need a little bit of iron, right? Okay, that looks pretty easy, actually. Okay, so you make the batteries in, um, in, uh, red power, this way. Very different recipe, and finally a use for nickelite. I mean, I know, it's been so long since we've actually used any of this nickelite. Besides for condensing, I mean. So then we take our batteries and we put them here, and then use one piece of wood. I don't know what LRM does, why LRM likes wooden her recipe so much, but she does. So now we've got a battery box, but we're gonna need something to charge these guys up. How many more? Ooh, only the one. That is just enough to get us started. If you take a blue ingot and you surround it in blue doped wafers, then you get a um. A uh, red power solar panel, which is quite different from the uh, regular solar panels you get. Hmm. Now you see, I gave myself a nice little edge here, so I can put stuff on it. Uh, I think I'll put the battery box right here. Cause I'm gonna put the furnace there, and then we're gonna put the solar panel right there. And see, we're getting a little itty bitty charge already. It's gonna take a while, but while that's starting, we can go down and make our electric furnace. Because who needs to use charcoal to cook when you've got the power of the sun? Here we go. Now there's two different kinds of furnaces. There's a regular furnace, which runs on uh, blutricity, but cooks up like a regular furnace would. They're actually pretty quick, too. But we're going to get an alloy furnace. So we're going to need a couple of these. Ooh, going to have just one brick left. Nice. Two and one. Kind of patting myself on the back for making all of these blue and red alloy ingots now. There we go, blue electric furnace. Hello. I had a pet turtle, I don't know what happened to him. Maybe I'll get another one soon. So we're going to plug this guy in. Oh, that's still not... Okay, so it's getting some of the juice from the box, but neither of them has enough power to them yet to do any actual work. Hmm... You know what I'm going to do. It's going to be a while before that pans out, especially because it's getting dark. But we're going to need more solar panels. Uh, let's see. We're going to take a couple of uranium. We're going to put those uranium in here. Up, oh, up. Oh, no, that's not what I wanted. That's not what I wanted at all. Okay, well, this is going to take a while. Okay, well that's going to take a while to cook up, but, hmm, 24 will get me started, and actually, 32 will get me even more started. 
I'm going to put this up in the furnace, which is not going to run because it's dark, and then I'm going to cut out until it's daytime. Because I don't think you guys want to watch me sleep. Okay, guys, it's been almost an entire day, but this thing's finally got enough juice to start working. I'm going to go... I'm going to get started on an MFE, which, if you haven't seen an MFE before, they're pretty awesome. Hmm. Okay, so for an MFE... Okay, I got some more redstone, because I knew we were going to need it. I burned down some more of the uranium in the condenser. Uh, we're going to need diamonds. What else do you need for... I think we're gonna need... Ooh, we don't have any refined iron. Let's go fix that right now. How are you doing, buddy? Oh, we're getting there, we're getting there. I'm gonna build... How many do I got here? Two more sets of solar panels. That should give me enough to get started. And then, honestly, I like to switch all my furnaces over to that, too, until I get to the induction furnace. But that's kind of beyond the ken of this series. So we're going to need two of those as well. And let's just look up the MFE right now. I want to make sure I get this right. Okay, they use gold wire now. I haven't used any of that in this series yet. One, two, three. Okay, so gold wire. Pretty boss. Um, it's... I know I covered it in my tutorial, but it's a more... Huh, you can't code it like that, huh? It is a higher capacity conductive wire, but it also um, ha runs for a shorter distance before it loses electricity. As you saw, I had to insulate it twice to get it properly insulated as well. So I think we've got all the parts we need once we go up there and get the uh, uh, refined iron. But let's build up these guys first since we get the time. Oh yeah, that'll help. Oh, look at the juice shooting up now. That'll be great. Okay. And we've got enough to get started. Okay, we're gonna make a machine block. We're going to need to surround all four of these precious, precious diamonds in redstone. And that will get us these energy crystals. They're sort of like the level two batteries of industrial craft. So then we put the machine block in the middle, wire in the corners, and those four crystals. We get an MFE. Now, I really want to plug this in and get going, but the MFE outputs a much higher voltage, which these machines can't handle. It also um, would destroy our bat box, so we're not going to make anything explode. We're going to go downstairs and we're going to make um, a, a transformer to down convert the electricity we're getting. Hmm. Didn't I just have some? I do have some wood. Okay. And we're going to need... Ooh, completely out. Oh, we're going to make a bunch. We're going to make a bunch. I am out of copper cabling. <laughs> there we go. Much better. Okay, so to make a low voltage transformer, you just put some copper in a line, put some wood in the corners. There we go. Now these work in sort of the opposite way of a battery box. It has a three prong side, which we are going to have facing towards the new source of electricity. And then all the other one prong signs put out the electricity. So then, how am I going to get this thing? Okay, let's make that. You see, it'll always face towards you and I don't feel like going downstairs and grabbing my wrench. So if I do it like this, where I'm aiming straight up, the MFE will be pointing straight down into there. There we go. And of course, we're not getting any power into this just yet. And I know I just broke a piece of wood with a pick, but it's what I had on hand. Hmm. Looking at it, I don't think I want to... I wanted to put the MFE there, but then I wouldn't be able to access it from inside the tower. So I don't want to do that. 
And next... Oh, we're going to need a lot more refined... I'll be back when I have a stack of refined iron. There we go. I think I got all the materials I need. Um, as you can see, I put an edge on my house. And it's really pissing off the spiders. But that's because I wanted to keep this area open for a bit. Okay, so to get started, we're going to need generators. We're going to need eight generators. Now to make eight generators, we're going to need eight furnaces. So let's get those out of the way. We're also going to need eight... Just in case. I'm not sure if I have enough here or not. We'll see. We're going to need eight batteries. I think we'll be fine, actually. We're going to need more wire before this is done, but that'll be okay. So then we're also going to need eight machine blocks turned... This refined iron is cooked up. Okay. Eight batteries, over eight machine blocks, over eight furnaces. Give us eight generators. I also made another low voltage transformer. You'll see why in a bit. We're also going to need... Ooh, I'm definitely need more wire for this. But we got plenty of rubber to play with. Hmm, I think that'll do it. Okay, we're going to need 16 circuits. Oh no, this is nowhere near enough, is it? Okay, so we're going to need even more wire. This is always a pretty copper-heavy uh, situation. I've always found that I run out of copper first, even though copper always seems to be something I have a lot of beforehand. When you start getting into solar panels. There we go, more than a stack, that should do it. And I'll have plenty of spare. Okay, so we needed six more. Okay, and we're also going to need 24 coal dust. I was macerating that coal dust out of uh, coal we had up, st we had um, in supply. I actually had to hit up uh, that uranium supply again so that we had enough coal sitting around spare. Okay, so that's going to make us our solar panels. Okay, now when you the, now I could just go wire up these eight solar panels and it'd be great, but. Techit and Technic have had a mod in for a long time called Compact Solars. And what you can do is you can put eight solar panels around a low-voltage transformer and get a low-voltage solar array. That makes just as much electricity, but now it's only one block. And now, if you took eight of those and put a medium-voltage transformer in the middle, you'd get a medium-voltage solar array, which makes 64 electricity every tech. And if you put eight of those around a high-voltage transformer, you would get a high voltage solar array, which makes 512 electricity every tick. But I think we're going to be happy with just 8. I think we will kill those spiders after I put this guy up too. So, hmm. Do I want to put some wire up for this? Yeah, regular copper cable will handle this. And then we're going to just edge out here on this ledge. And tap that in. And now the MFE should be getting juice, but it's going to be dumping it right into this bat box here. So until that bat box is full, this thing's not going to keep holding a charge. And actually, I'm not really scared to uh, lose a little bit of juice at this point. How about we just hook that up there, break this Jenny, put him here. We can always have this generator for uh, spare capacity if, like, you know, it's nighttime and I need to get a little bit of work done. And, I mean, we can all, there'll be up later upgrades coming up. But, I mean, now we've gone green. We've got a steady supply of continuous energy. Uh, so that's another project out of the way. There is one more thing I want to show you. It's going to require me making a couple more generators, but I already got that stuff cooking up. So I'll cut back when I have all the materials for that. 
Okay guys, it's night. I'm running away from creepers right now. Um, I realize that for the next recipe I'm making, I'm gonna need some ender pearls and I don't got them. Uh, well, ghost guy creepers over there. Rotten flesh, nice. Enderman, Enderman, here we go. Oh, there's one. What are you guys doing having your little meeting out here? Oh man, it is so much easier to kill these guys in single player. I want that dirt block, give it to me. One left. Oh, and I'm hungry, I'm hungry, I'm really hungry. Oh, I don't wanna, I don't, I don't wanna die. Uh, okay, right near the house anyway. I think I can handle it. Oh, two pearls. Okay, we're good. We're good. I'll meet you back at the house. Oh, God, no, 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 no. Okay, made it home. Uh, you weren't much help. Oh, I'm gonna, I'm, I'm, what am I gonna condense down? Uh, PC uranium, yeah. How many ender pearls do I get out of a piece of uranium? Probably like none. Four. Ah, oh, that'll get that'll keep me going. That's a very nice tower you've got there. <laughs> Weirdo. Okay, so we had to make a retriever. I've already made the filters since we've seen those before, and I already made a bat box since you've seen that before. So we're gonna need a filter, two ender pearls. Ooh, do I even have? Oh, good. I have leather. Good, good, good. Um, two of these. Uh, I think it was one of them's, two of them's. Yep, yep, I think I got everything. Leather in the front, don't know why the hell I need that. Okay, now, to explain what a retriever is, a retriever works like a filter, only it can work over distances via pipes. A uh, filter needs to be next to an inventory to pull out something. A retriever can pull out something as long as it's connected to the pipe network with it. So up here I made a little pool using cover plates and uh, some cover strips in the corners to hold an infinite water source. And I put a deployer in there with a whole bunch of empty buckets that I made out of tin. Uh, if I put the filter here, I'm going to stand in the water for this, I think. Get the face right, unless I want to pull out my screwdriver. There we go, the filter's facing the right way. I only want this filter to pull out full buckets. And I only want this retriever to pull out empty buckets, for reasons that you'll see very soon. But you see, we need power for this guy, and I don't have any right yet. So what we're going to do is we're going to put that there. So this is going to suck um, empty buckets out of the system. Hmm. I think that's everything I need right there. Good, 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 good. Okay, so we're going to bust this wall here. And I'm going to add another battery box. And I got some wool together. And, oh, I didn't get the blue ingots. Damn it. Hmm, I think... See, I'm going to take nine, but I think I'm only going to need six of them. And, oh, it's almost done. Nice. Okay, so... You put the... Creepy wolf sound over there where it's away from me. What in the hell is that noise? That's not you, Creeper. It's a werewolf. Okay, okay, it's okay. It's almost daytime. Maybe he'll turn back and I can kill him when he's a human. And totally feel bad about it. Anyway, um, so I just can't fall. I just can't fall. Okay, we're okay, we're okay. Um, put the wire here. Yeah, good, good, good. And then we can just kind of edge it along this wall here, over to the existing system. Save a piece. And this should start getting juice. It is! It's getting juice! Yay! Okay, so that's going to be co-opting off of our other solar panels. And, oh look, he's already got all his juice and he's all charged up. He's ready to go. Now, we're going to need some more jennies, and so I'm going to make those, and then I'll come right back. Okay, guys, I think I've got everything I need here. Uh, I'm going to be making a couple more generators. 
Now this is another way to make electricity in uh, industrial craft that doesn't rely on sunlight. Although I found that it can be a little buggy on servers, so I'm only suggesting it really for single player. Although I did get a lot of juice out of it in my multiplayer before it finally broke and just refused to work. There's some kind of problem in Tekkit. I don't know if it's actually a Tekkit problem or a Minecraft problem, but the infinite water source would break after a while, and I just couldn't seem to get it to work again. Just giving you guys a heads up if you want to try it in Tekkit. You know. If it happens to you too, don't get frustrated. I don't, I'm not sure what it is. So if you take just some basic wood, I think I had it backwards. Yep, there it is. For every generator with this recipe around it, you get two water mills. Now, usually what you do with a water mill is you put it in a tub of water, and it would make a very tiny amount of electricity, like less than one EU a tick. But if you put a bucket of water into the bottom of one of these guys, like so, you fill this up, and it starts making two energy a tick. Now, how are we going to act, um, take advantage of this? Using this little red power system I made. I've seen this on a couple of different videos, but first we're going to need a way to send that power along. This is ultra-low current cable. It can't handle more than, I think, four energy units a tick, but that's per source. So each of these two energy units a tick should be okay. So if we just snake around here, there. Now this guy should start dumping, yeah, this guy's dumping his electricity into the MFE now. And I know it's not very pretty looking having this wire going, but it's completely safe. You can touch it, you can rub yourself all over it. It doesn't even need to be insulated. And it runs for long distances without losing charge. It can go 20 um, blocks without losing charge. So it's great for something like this. So, okay, do I have an empty bucket in here? I have a full bucket in there. And I have my other buckets in here. I need to go make a timer. I think I can do that all on camera, though. That's pretty easy. Uh, we're going to need some stone. We're going to need some redstone. And we're going to need another lever. We've got one lever. Good. And I think we're going to need a couple of sticks. Okay, let's see if I can do this completely from memory. I probably can't. Don't get your hopes up. Okay, if you cook smooth stone in a furnace, you will get two stone wafers. Okay, I think what I need is... I need one of those pieces of stone, actually. Oh, oh I didn't want to cheat like that, no. If you control-click on an inventory, it'll let you just pull one of them out. If you do it while it's in a furnace or some kind of machine, sometimes it breaks it. I'm not sure why. And you end up getting a lot of stuff which you don't want. So we're going to need two redstone torches. One of these redstone torches goes right on a wafer. And you get a stone cathode. If you take that and put a stone above it, you get a stone pointer. I think we need one of each of those. And then we need... Um, oh, I'm going to have to look up the recipe. I, I, I'm really close to having it completely in my head. Uh, stone cathode, stone anode, three stone wire, and two stone... Okay. So I think we've got everything we need. This is how you make a stone anode. You get three of them for that. And then we're going to need three stone wire. Oh, I think I got just enough of everything. Oh, that's good planning on my part. Okay, really, I didn't have a clue what I was doing. But there we go, stone timer. And we need red wire. Oh, I knew I forgot something. It's right there in the chest. Can I edge, can I edge it? No, I can't even fall. Okay. So we're going to have a system set up to keep this entire machine uh, running and then we put the timer like that and then we put the lever here if we ever want to turn this guy off okay see it's already going uh, let's turn on the time though see it's pulling out empty buckets from the deployer and then it's dumping the uh, after they've dumped into the, one of these machines here it pulls the um, ones that need to get refilled back in and so these guys are getting full up of water, and they're making their energy. So this thing is made, this little setup right here that only cost me two generators is making eight energy, just like that solar panel. And this thing will run all day. Isn't that spiff? Look at it go. Oh yeah, so we've got a lot of juice coming in here now. Oh yeah, we'll fill this up in no time. So, yeah, um, 
I think this is it, guys. I mean, I've had a lot of fun showing you how to get started. But, I mean, we've got diggy robots over there, giving us plenty of resources to work with. Um, we've got some nice power generation and a basic workshop in industrial craft to get all our ores processed and smelted. I mean, there's more advanced machines, but there's plenty of ways for you to find out about that stuff. There's a lot of uh, more advanced technic and tech it tutorials out there. I just really wanted to show you guys how to get, you know, stage one. So yeah, oh, this is a lot of fun to do, actually. I think I'm going to keep playing on this single player world. I'm probably going to kill a lot of horses. Because, uh, you know, that's one of the things on my to-do list right now. Um, so yeah, this is Mirror Dog signing off. Good luck in all your adventures, guys.